All right, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number seven for today. And in the last episode, we climbed through the lower end of Champ 1. As you can see, we're in Division 4 now. And honestly, I talked a lot about how to slow down your play and really uh, take advantage of the space that you have. I've talked a lot about it in the series so far, but I think that we can expand a little bit more in this episode and talk about uh, when to challenge and when to push up on an opponent. But of course, before we do that, we have to jump into the meme comment of the day and we have Encore with Thanos Vic. This one should be a fun one. Let's get right into it. All right, so of course we have Thanos here, perfectly balanced as all things should be. I've got some ideas of what I want to do with this top half here, but we do have Thanos. Uh, I almost called him Thanos Vic. <laughs> we have Thanos Vic here. Uh, I need to grab his head as always and sort of uh, blend him together with Thanos here. It's not, it might not work, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's try to line up his head with Thanos here. I don't know if I can get Thanos' <laughs> Thanos' chin covered. All right, let's start. Let's start chipping away here. Get rid of his hair. Maybe maybe what I should do first. Let's get the uh, Thanovic to be kind of purple. Oh, perfect. It's so much darker. <laughs> Let me go back. Oh no, he's purple now. All right, let's just add Thanos' chin back in here. All right, so as you can see, the color is not quite right. <laughs> what am I doing? What is this? <laughs> this is so bad. Oh man, this might be the worst one so far. All right, so now that I have some of Thanos revealed here, I'm gonna try and match the color. It's so bad. This is so bad. It's so dark, but it matches pretty well. So what I think I need to do is combine this with the background. And then what we'll do is we will brighten everything up and bring bring out the best in Thanovic here, or Thanos Vic, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a little better. I'm not, I, could, I can't say I'm happy about this one so far. Okay, it's honestly gonna have to do, but I have an idea, like I said, for this top part. So let's, let's do that real quick. All right, not my proudest moment, but here is Thanos Vic. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed of my work here, but I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. But now let's get to the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, we got number one, or game number one. I got We got number one. We got Sergeant Mon Monkey Butt and the Sinister. Got a big boom over across. This could be a shot here from the other player. So gotta be careful. This guy missed too, so now we can sit behind the ball. It's a good boost steal from him. I could have probably rushed for the boost there. I'm gonna stay, stay behind and go for a flick. Hop over one. Seems like they're trying to uh, cover each other there. Uh, Sinister's panicking because they both went for the touch. And this is off the backboard. This is a good attempt. This guy's missing, so I'm just going to go for the shot. Went around the, the post, but it's no problem. Go for a demo or something behind here, too. I'm going to wait on the right side and wait to see what happens. I'm going to go up the wall and just sort of uh, posture on the backboard to see what happens. This guy's trying to go for it, too. Got a good save. My teammate wants to go, but he, see, he actually backed off, so I can stay with the ball. He's pos positioning in mid, so I'm just going to go for mid-pass. So he ended up backing out, but I got a demo. Um, now, this is an awkward play right here because he has a chance. He's going to go high on the ball, and he got a really good dunk. So yeah, my teammate was positioning really well for a pass and then he got too scared and backed out and then tried to uh, challenge at a time where he really shouldn't at that point because I just committed for a pass. So I need to have time to get behind and go for the next play. This is awkward if I don't go for the ball immediately. It's a really big mistake to go for that back corner boost uh, when they have pressure on the ball like that. A good try for my teammate. Ended up missing again. This guy threw the ball a little bit and I can go for a shot behind. Um, the, the way... Like, all, all that champ and, like, uh, grand champ is all about is just finding those openings when people make mistakes. Because a lot of the time, that's how you're going to find the goals. I would say, like, higher SSL and even low SSL is kind of uh, the case with uh, mistakes and stuff. But higher SSL is where you're going to really get into having to really outplay the opponent and, and just find positions where you just have an advantage. Now right here, I, I have a teammate that's pushed up on the ball. I can wait here in the corner and see what happens. And then pass this middle. Great shot. Good, uh, good block as well. We're coming to the point though in the series where um, we really have to start uh, scoring with my teammate because uh, I can't, you know, depend on uh, one player to take over the game on my teammate on my team because, uh, as you can see, the players are pretty good now. But good dunk for my teammate. You can see that I left that ball for him because he's pushing the ball away from net. It's not always the case you want to do that, especially at like higher ranks. You're gonna find that there are times where. Um, you actually want to clear it the other way because there's no one there. I can pop this up nice and high and see what happens. Go for a demo on the other guy or something. And a good finish. So I didn't really have to work too hard there. Just uh, just pop the ball up nice and high once the ball came to me. Use that half volley. You can see that I actually waited quite a bit of time to hit the ball once it was higher up off the ground. That way I can get like more contact underneath the ball. And it really sends the ball flying. Um, not every goal is going to be that easy um, to set up. But they fed the ball middle because they missed. So once again, just... Capitalizing on a mistake. Good demo. At that point, he could leave the ball, but I can see that he's not uh, 
not going uh, back, so I just wait for him instead. Now, he threw the ball away right there, but it went behind my car. So what I'm going to do is instead, this is really good demos for my teammate and giving me so much space. Um, you can, once you see the ball going behind you, it's better to just let the ball kind of go. Oh. Okay, I, I feel like I, that was kind of a mean fake, so I just kind of just left it. Um, but I was going to say is, uh, you know, just knowing when to just uh, give up on a ball is really, really important. And uh, you can see I'm trying to control in the corner. And you can see that when the control doesn't work out, um, just le backing out and waiting for them to throw it back to you is not not a bad plan uh, of, like, plan B, basically. This ball's to me. Up off the wall. See what happens with Sinister. Good try by... It's not Luigi. It's, like, Louis Gooey. <laughs> Louis Gooey time, maybe. <laughs> what a name. Okay, that's really dangerous the way that he uh, double-touched that. You can see that I was ready for it off the side there. Oh, my God. Almost a good save, too. Uh, but it didn't, it didn't quite work out for them. That second touch from Monkey Monkey there um, went uh, behind me, but I was ready for it a little bit to just get in the way. Uh, but it could have easily went past me, and then I would have to back out. Um, the reason why that ball went towards our net here and they got a goal is because uh, on the 50-50, you can see it actually went flying off the le the back end of my car. Um, as you can see, I didn't really get a full fr full frontal contact. Let's see if my team wants to get in position. He doesn't looks like he doesn't want to push up for the pass, which is fine because it's two in two v two. You have to be really careful. I probably should have went faster than that. I definitely would have just beat him. Um, I was in a position that was just much better than where he was. But I'm not trying to play too fast. Even though champ, champ level is kind of like one of those mysteries where people are pretty fast. But they're just making really, really poor decisions. But we'll see what happens here with Sinister. It's a good pop. Going for a flip reset. Okay. So this is awkward. You can wait for it to bounce off the backboard and then go for an aerial. Um, it's not always the case you want to wait. Especially if players are faster. And here, once again, I can just clear it to the side. And now I can wait for it. It's also maybe open. I can pass this to my teammates see if he can finish it. Great finish. Nice one. Yeah, so I can see that he's understanding when we have breakaways and he's positioning in a, a position that, like, if I'm not comfortable with the shot, which I obviously am, I can shoot that straight. Um, I can, you know, pass it over to him and he can finish it off. So he's, he's posturing for any opportunity to cover that, like, right side cone of shots where I miss the ball. So, or miss the net, sorry. Uh, pretty good first game. I don't know what I just got the streak, I think. That's probably for winning five or something in a row. I'm not really sure. We have lost a couple over the last few games. We got champ two here. Probably division one. So far, so good. So uh, I, I, so far, I haven't really seen too many players that are like, you know, smurfing. We, we saw one in the first uh, first game. That wasn't even real, really a... Or first series. First episode of the series. It was, he wasn't really smurfing either. He was just playing twos on that account for the first time. So pretty good so far. Um, obviously, we haven't played too many games uh, down here. So I'm not trying to say that the smurfing isn't a problem. I know that it's a really, really big issue. But let's get in the next game. Uh, see how it goes and continue on with uh, supporting our teammates. All right, uh, give me that... Give me that uh, noggin on my team. And... Uh, we got Monkey again on the other team. Wait, it's, Har it's Harambe and Monkey, but what the heck is going on? I mean, that's two different animals, to be fair. Let's see what happens. Good try from the, the uh, challenge on the wall. Now I can see Monkey's here is last, so I'm just waiting. And it's not it's not scary if you bring it across. And that's one of those situations where I was saying it's better because all the players on their team are across. Kimmy's going for the demo, so I'm just going to go for a 50-50. Wait for it. See what happens here. Good pop. And good finish. Nice shot. Um, but that all really started for me uh, avoiding the bumps. And, like, I did a lot there that I didn't really talk about uh, why that worked out so well. Like, there's a good chance, it, like, if you and your position in Champ 2 went for that play and you didn't recognize that they were bumping you or, or going for the challenge early and you just jump over them like that, um, that opportunity wouldn't have presented itself. This is really awkward and it could be a good chance for them. Um, not the easiest thing to deal with, too. See if he challenges or something. He's trying to get in the way. My teammate's um, really aggressive on the bump, so i got to really be really careful here. Now, this is awkward. It's over my head. Um, you can turn around and try for it. Oh, or you could have went off the backboard a little bit faster, like just re returning to the defense. Now, my teammate's trying to bump, so I'm going to go for the challenge. Now, I'm having... This is a case of like a situation where um, my teammate's like being overly aggressive, I would say. He's constantly ahead of the ball, but we have a chance here on a 1v1 dribble. Now, I could go for that immediately, or I could let it bounce to me, like, here, and then go for the challenge. Um, there's a chance that the guy would have been a little faster there and went for the ball. But I just waited for the ball to go off the wall. Let's see what happens here. Good flick. I'm going to pop forward. Now, I can see that Monkey might come for the challenge. He does. 
You can either wait for the ball to go up the wall or you could chip it early, whatever you want to do. Go for the wall wall hit. Now I've relinquished possession by making the hit that I did. So I'm just gonna back out, back out, back to net. Popped it across the field. I'm gonna see what he does with this 1v1, uh, 1v1 dribble or 1v2. Now, I'm gonna remind people that I see a lot of comments that say like, uh, in Platinum they're seeing flip resets and stuff. These are Champ 2 players who have probably been in Champ 2 for a long time and I have not seen any aerial attempts so far. I know that like everyone's saying it's more aerial based, but I I really think that people think that and they don't realize how much how much uh, floor control they have or how much room they have to uh, play with. Now I see I, I, I basically positioned there in a way that I knew that the player was going to cut in. So I pushed over to the side to wait for it. This aerial, like, there's not, no threat. Like, people are going for aerials, but there's nothing threatening to it. Really, really good cut, catch there. See what he does here. See, I'm just kind of trailing behind my teammate and see what happens. Now, this is a position where I can sit behind the ball and see how scary this is for him. Now, maybe my teammate can get up there. I'm going to keep bumping this guy. Um, there's, there's so many times where aerials are happening in these ranks, but they're not threatening. They're just not... They're not what you need to go for and not uh, not anything that, um, you know, you could be too worried about uh, if you're in a position where you can wait for it. So I, right here, this guy's challenging. So I pop it around him instead of going cutting around all the way around the ball is not always going to be the, the, the best uh, best case scenario because that gives the opponents time to read uh, the shot towards them, where instead um, it's better to just pop it around them and then fall off the touch or just back out. So once again, I'm going to go behind and see what happens. You got a 50-50 here. Now, Monkey's closer to the ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here in mid and see what happens. He just passes it right to me. So I, I, I'm i just thinking ahead of what's happening. And I talked about like being five steps ahead in the last episode. Uh, this is one of those situations where, you know, playing ahead of the, the opponent and, and finding openings by uh, going around uh, where the space is. Now, this is awkward because you can see they are ready for it. But then once again, I'm just waiting for that uh, good pass, actually. It's really good. Really good passing play. I'm gonna score. I'm gonna score that because that was a really, really good pass. I really like the, the the thought to like, you know, pop that to the side there. That was a really good play. I, I really think that I don't know if he was intentionally trying to pop it the way he did, but it, it worked out really, really well. Really good pop forward, shooting my teammate. He's awkward, but he's still got pos uh, possession and control. Really good shot. That might just be in, and that's a really good shot. Oh, what a save! <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, that was a really good shot from them, and they, they definitely uh, deserve to score that, but my teammate's insane, so really good play. Should be a shot opportunity and good finish. So I definitely should have been front post there. I just felt like they definitely deserved that goal. <laughs> That's not his fault. I mean, he did pop it out, but so did uh, Harambe, so... Actually, I don't even know if I can say his name. You know, YouTube is a, a mystery to me. <laughs> um, anyway, really good play from them. Oh, teammate didn't go. And a really good finish by me. Look at that shot. <laughs> it's definitely savable, um, but it's, it's definitely hard to react. My teammate didn't go, and I, I definitely think that it's a big mistake not to go for that. Good try from Monkey. He's going to probably t touch this to the side. See how I didn't immediately barrel into that? I'm just always reading what's going to happen next. Like, I see the position on the ball. I'm not the one that's going to be on the ball first. He's already chasing it. So instead, what I do is I just go behind. See what a good chance for them. So we'll see what happens with the aerial. A really good try on the air dribble. Not the best control from him, but he did have like a good try on the ball. Once again, just backing out, waiting for the next touch. Harambe's up. Now I'm seeing a lot more aerials with with uh, the, this game so far, but like like I said, not nothing too uh, threatening. That one air dribble play was pretty threatening, but I just got on top of the ball. So we got OT here. Alright, they, they end up missing the kickoff. Now, I could go and steal that boost, but as you can see, my teammate's going up for that ball. And now, now I'm going to go back all the way and get ready for the next touch. Uh, I would say grabbing that corner boost is a bit of an overcommit. That's a decent pass. Oh, almost a finish too. Oh, okay. Alright. Good try. That's going to give my teammate time to get out of the, out of the play. He's grabbing the, the mid boost, so I'm going to go for the back corner and then wait behind him here. So, good try on that touch. Just waiting for my opportunity to strike. My teammate gonna, wants to clear it there. Really good play. He goes for it again. Popped it out. Let's see if my teammate wants to go for this. Good touch. I'm already ready for it. I'm, I'm scanning the field and trying to 
Uh, pay attention to where the opponents are on that touch. I'm just going for a touch. Honestly, both of my teammate and I are playing pretty well together here. So I'm just going to pop this to the side. He ended up Okay, so now he decides to go up. He kind of had like a delayed decision to go for that. I think he was a little scared in case someone was there, but I popped that to, uh, to space. It's all about, it's all important about finding those spots where um, there's space for your teammate to follow a ball. I gotta be careful of the shot here. This is gonna be awkward because it might bounce up and out. So be a little careful. And I already recognize that when the ball is, is going into the corner, that that's an opportunity or that's a chance that that might happen. Look at demo. See if he goes for this. Good try. So he backed out. I popped this softly off the wall. Shoot my teammate again. He kind of rushed it though. So now they have a potential opportunity. Good shot down the field. This is awkward for them. He's missing. Or he's actually got a decent touch. He stayed close to it. Scary to go for. I wouldn't go for that. <laughs> this could be a finish for them. Ended up missing though. All right. Now I have space to go for this. Okay. Good. Good. See, see my teammate uh, hit the brakes there. He ended up realizing that I could go for it. So I like that he was ready for that. Not the greatest pass here, but a good good chip early. Good pop as well. I'm going to go for this and not hit it. Um, but that definitely would be a scorable thing. I want my teammate to finish the ball, the game here. Let's see if he can do it. Good touch. Now this butt guy didn't go for that back corner boost. So I'm going to leave this in case my teammate wants to go back. Going early. That's a good play from them. Nice pop across. So I got to be careful here because it could go into mid before they read it, but they don't. I pass this to my teammate. Good 50-50. I'll pop it up nice and high, see what they do. They're probably going to save it. Good dunk for my teammate though. Now they're waiting on this. He goes high on it, which is actually really smart. Good touch for my teammate. A little rushed though. A lot more space than that. Good 50 as well. I'll wait for this. Yeah, I'm backing off and, and getting in a position where I can follow it instead of going for that immediate chip. Okay, every player is in the corner, so I don't want to be in that position. And that's a really good pass and a good finish. Okay, good. That was a really good play. Really good overtime, too. Teammate played, played really well. All of them are out. <laughs> they left that game so quick. But honestly, that, that's a really, really good, uh, really good game to show positions where Things are a little scary to go for, so maybe just don't challenge and wait for the next uh, better position. Um, and I talked about this in the in the first Road to SSL series where it's like red light, green light in your head when you want to go for a ball. Um, but there's also uh, sort of an amber light where you kind of want to like approach a player and try to make them do something, but not fully commit and put yourself out of the game by flipping down the field. Um, I also talked about this in the first series. Where when you flip for a challenge, you end up giving um, your car like a quarter field distance on the play. Like if I jump and flip right here, see how far I went? I went like a quarter of the field forward. So if you go for a barrel challenge and then you end up past the ball, you're now like probably at least half a field away from, uh, from where the play is. And it's moving in the opposite direction of you. Now, that's a little scary of a play here. I go for a, a challenge once I see that he loses control. That's that red light, green light. This is a little dangerous, though. Pop it across. It's a good shot off the backboard. We're seeing a lot more dangerous opportunities for them uh, off of, like, touches and challenges. I'm going to stay closest in the corner. My teammate is way forward. He's pre-jumping. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that's uh, wise to do. Good try. Okay, so I can already tell right now that my teammate is very, very aggressive and very, very jumpy. So you have to be very, very careful to position in a, in a spot where that's going to be useful uh, to play around him. Let's see what happens here. A decent pop in mid. Good try. Now this ball feeds into mid. I'm going to go for a clear. My teammate's still in the net, so he's still in the net. He's still in the net. Okay, there we go. Let's keep it close to my teammate. Oh, close. He's a little scared to go up for that. He probably could have tried to make a challenge or something. I don't know what is going on with this man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait behind. Big dubs though. Man, he's just he's playing. This is this is the, this is what I was talking about before. Uh, where just playing too fast. You see that I waited for the backboard bounce. That could have been an opportunity for them to score. Um, but I obviously read it pretty well, and I'm just waiting on the the floor for an opportunity where <laughs> I'm so confused by this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is all over the place.
Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing. Okay. This is um. This is an example of. I don't. I don't want to rip into this guy, obviously, but this is an example of someone who's doing a whole lot of. <laughs> I'm not saying a whole lot of nothing, but he's doing a, a lot more than he has to for what is available on the field. He's just uh, not playing the positions uh, that he needs to. He's going way too fast and trying to do too much. And I think that's a common issue. Common issue. Good save. Yeah, this is a guy who wants to do everything. So I'm I'm going to try and let him do that. Um, this may be a very difficult game. It's not going to be comfortable. Uh, but we're going to do our best here. I'll wait behind. I think he wants to go for this again. Good try on the challenge. But once again, this is a position where I can't really go properly. I can go now off the corner. I, I'm playing a little too passive. I don't want to teach everybody to like be scared to go for things. I don't, know that, I don't think that's right either, but... Um, just making sure you hit the ball in a way that like keeps you safe afterwards and not puts your not put your teammate in a in a one v two. Once again, just something where he could have left that for me. It's a good shot down the field. It's a good save as well. Okay, I'll let him turn. I definitely could have stayed on that as a pop forward. See if we can finish it. Good try. See, I'm taking the back foot in this game. This is probably the 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 most uh, I've been like passive as far as like these upper games go but i'm just trying to get in a position let's see if my teammate waits in mid okay, so he's waiting there now i'm gonna wait back now because they have a uh that that miss on that one guy toxic um is gonna put me in a weird spot if i go for it again all right he's trying to demo me or something what is go i don't understand <laughs> i don't understand all right i'm gonna go for this no he's made a bad touch should be my teammate now the way we're rotating right now is not the most comfortable. And uh, you can see right there, once I make a challenge, it's a little scary. It's going to be awkward for uh, for our team because they're in a position where um, they can now push up on the field. Stay close to this. Watch out for the demo. I'm just avoiding uh, him driving at me here. Into mid and a good finish. Well, that really worked out. That, that probably shouldn't have worked out the way it did, but it did. And so we'll take it. Um, but I was just waiting for uh, Pyro to go for a challenge or go into mid to try and get a 50. And it, it fed right to my teammate. So it looks like he's going back corner. So I go to the, the left side. That's going back to like episode, I think, two or three. I can't quite remember which episode we talked about the kickoff and how to like position on the ball. Uh, but that definitely is uh, why that fed back to my teammate like that. Going for an early challenge. This could be a good shot for them. Good try on the finish. Not quite hitting the mark there, but that was a really good uh, try from them. That might just be in the net again. It's off the backboard. It's a decent try, but probably going to be them again. This could be open for them. And good finish. Yeah, so my teammate uh, tried to go for a touch off the backboard. I definitely could have avoided that demo, but um, that, that overcommit from him by missing that ball is going to put me in a, a tough situation either way. So really good demo by them to push up the field. He's going backfield. I guess he's watching Arsenal videos. Good clear, but this could be a shot from them. And it's going to be an overtime. All right, so overtime number two. I feel like if we're getting a lot of overtimes, it probably means that I'm either doing uh, too much or too little um, to match uh, the play here. So I'm just going to go for a touch. That's a really good touch. I mean, 12 boosts. I probably shouldn't have. Okay, you missed. Good try. Popped it forward. It's a really good play. This could be a finish. Good save for my teammate. It was an awkward play in the corner. A really good touch here. I'll pop this to the side for him. See if he wants to play down the field. Once again, it's a situation where I probably could have just went for the play myself down the field. I need to stop doing too much selfless play. All right, it's a good to pop off the sidewall. See if my teammate's in mid. Pass forward. Good try. A little too heavy for him. We're getting t uh, players who are, uh, you can see that they are trying to aerial and make some plays. That's a really good shot too. Re really good attempt. i stay close here. I see this guy's trying to challenge. So I'm going to go around him. My teammate got scared, so he went back. That's, that's okay though. It's not the worst decision to uh, go back there, but that's a really good shot. A really good finish. And there we go. Definitely a strange one. Uh, probably the weirdest game we've had so far. I, Big Dubs I definitely played a little differently on the second half of the game, but... A little uh, antsy nerves at the beginning there, I would say. He was playing really, really quick. But a uh, good set of games here. 
we do win what once again i thought we were actually gonna lose that game because they had a lot of pressure and somehow i got enforcer i don't remember bumping anybody but uh there we go my teammate uh carried on the leaderboard i would say that i definitely had to play a, a unique style to uh re remain comfortable in the game uh but overall it wasn't wasn't too bad uh, a couple good saves from big dubs too on there so that's why he has that save there that, that one shot that was just in the background there but yeah, interesting one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I'm, I'm being informative still. If I'm not, let me know what I can do uh, to improve that, to uh, you know help you understand what I'm talking about on certain situations. I know that we're getting into higher ranks now, and some some people who are like Platinum and Diamond that are still trying to learn um, might not be uh, quite understanding like everything that's happening in the gameplay, but um, I'm trying my best to make this uh, accessible for everybody to learn. And I've seen a lot of comments that also say like that you are improving and since the series started, so that's really good to see. I've seen a couple of people say that they're Diamond 1, Diamond 2 and they were stuck there forever and now they're Champ 1. So really good to hear that people are um, approaching the game differently and finding results. So until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.